Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome back to Ancestors Legacy as we are hiding through the forest trying to save our brothers our brothers in arms and uh, use the little sneaky tactics to to just make sure that we do not get uh, overwhelmed by enemy troops slowly move further in I think at this point with, with the troops that we have available with the spears and the bows we could actually go ahead let's see where so this is the camp where we are at shall we ambush these troops Yes, we don't have a choice. Okay, I don't know if that was necessarily a great idea, but there we have it. Until that battle is over, because I don't think I need to be present. We can take a look. So we have a road through here. Good, let's heal them up. And yes, I will follow the road here. I think we have just enough troops to take over this camp. And we will do so before moving forward so let's do that it is clearing the enemy camp it's a secondary objective but i do wanna I, I am the type that wants to complete secondary objectives as long as it's not too difficult like it's jeopardizing our mission so let's take a look here Slowly moving through the forest. We have a spear at level 2, this one is at level 1, and we have the archers in the back. They didn't get a whole lot of kills. Maybe we have a chance to do so now. Let's see if we start attacking those troops. The alarm has been pulled. Nice. Let's move these archers forward. Try to snipe a few other guys up if there's anybody here. No brothers have been freed. Okay, so now we have shields, we have spears, and we have some archers. Let's start moving forward up. I don't think there's anything else we should be doing. And we're going to use these troops to come over here on this camp. I like the fact that they're whispering and there's a little bit of music in the background. It just makes the whole experience pretty nice. I'm a Northman like you. I managed to escape. Where are the others? In the other camp. You'll need men to set them free and you need to hurry up. The Bricks want to set them on fire as an act of revenge. That's brutal. I always say that history is uh, brutal. Like when people say that these times are quite bad. I, I always say that it's not even close to what it used to be. 
Oh, let's see. So we could go with our troops here. And as we see, there's like a bunch of guards there, as in all the other camps. So what I'm going to do is use our archers to set fire to, to this building. And then use them here to set fire to these buildings. We're going to use the cards to make it easier. That will get their attention. Okay. Now we're running back our archers. While they move away. I'm going to use the archers to snipe this particular mob. some mobs there. Mobs are weak against, well, against everything, basically. So let's take them to two different sites. They got weird attack, they got outnumbered, which is perfect. God who reigns supreme. Good to have you all back. Who is this infidel coming with you? The name's Godric. Take me with you and I'll help you. I'll show you the nearby camps where you can get wood. We could go there and secure those resources. I have a few troops resting up and we have a hero called Godric. Seems like he's some sort of Englishman. Let's see, one of the rebels fighting against the new Northumbrian king, Ethelred. He found his reasons and a way to join the Northmen in the raid. Okay, quite nice. Okay. And now, what we want to do, we'll, we'll go for the forest here in the south. We don't want to go for the village, then we'll encounter the troops that just moved away. And we are just going for supplies. We can go around. Let's see. What do we have here? I don't see a lot of troops just yet. Mostly seems like they're not protected. Good to see you. I saw a party of Brits heading in that direction. They want our wood. We need it to repair ships and build siege machines. We need to secure this wood camp at all costs. Okay. So that's what we'll do. We'll secure some wood. I'm the devil. It's an upstairs. Let's go there. What you spacing? That should be enough. Four mob. It's an upstairs. Now we're about to have a, a bit of a battle. This is a, a very interesting mechanic. So what you could do, you could use troops to build traps. And they do exactly as you think, as they move over them. Uh, I think it's faster if you... If you have multiple people printing it, right? Yep. So let's bring another person there. They will be here any minute. Take positions. They are coming. I'll put the spears in there. And I'll put the shields here. And I'll put all these troops into defensive formation. Now they're going to suffer a bunch of casualty by the time we are engaging them. As 
just use it as a staying gauge. We are going to bring our spears in. In a bit of a charge. Now we're gonna use our archers over on the slingers. Godric has the ability called Rage, increases melee attack and melee damage, but reduces melee defense. Let's go for intense fire, increasing our rate of fire there. I think at this point we can just go ahead and charge their troops. We didn't lose any building, we Godric survived. All the Christians are dead. And there we have it. We've completed this mission in about 10 minutes. Let's continue to the next one. This is how I joined the Northmen in their raid on Lindisfarne. Ethel had held me captive for months, and that was my chance to get even. When Jarl Ulf Ironbeard regained his strength and we collected enough supplies, we could finally head on to join the rest of the expedition. However, the road to Lindisfarne was not an easy one. Every once in a while, we encountered Ethel's troops. Our supplies ran out faster than we were able to loot the surrounding villages. It was then that the scouts noticed an approaching caravan with food and weapons. We prepared an ambush, not expecting that someone else was preparing to attack it as well. Mm. Ulf's comrades made it their way to Linda's farm to join the rest of the invaders. To get the necessary supplies and weapons, they decided to prepare an ambush on an English caravan their scouts had tracked down. Let's wait for it. We have what? We have some shields. Ulf is unshielded. Let's charge them. Apparently we get some help from the back. Ulf has an ability to inspire fear in the enemies. I guess we're breaking their morale. Let's go up there. Well, there we have it. Close. They might have killed you. Come, let's talk to her Agar, chieftain. Who are you people? There. We are loyal let's to go. the past king, Osred II. Betrayed by the new king, Aethelred. We're waiting here to retaliate. And you? These are Northmen who have been beaten during their raid near Bandura. Now they have to join their forces near Lindisfarne. There we have it. Godric is strong against bows and... Spears weak against uh, two-handed axes and horsemen. Ulf is weak against spears, but he's strong against shields and cavalry. Let's go. Yeah, the road to Lindy's farm is blocked. We will help you take the enemies down, but we need supplies first. There are two villages nearby. Let's force peasants to gather food and wood for us. So we have a big village over here. Uh, seek the woods nearby. The enemies will surely try to reclaim the villages. Uh, take some of our soldiers with you. So at this point we're also seeing a tiny bit how recruitment goes. This is still part of the tutorial in a sense. We're replenishing troops. Like, uh, this this kind of mechanic, it's totally like the... I mean, it brings very close to the mechanic in Company of Heroes. Right, with... Uh, Remember, you can always retreat here to gather reinforcements. With having uh, replenishment, retreat, always working with... Listen up here! Always working with uh, the troops that you have and trying to keep them alive. Uh, let's take a look at what's going on here. We have some food left out in the open. 
Okay, it's always very suspicious when you have food out in the open, right? Let's see, let's try to take it from here. Apparently there were some spearmen there. Let's see, where are they coming from? Oh, there they are. Now we can bring our troops from the side. Their morale is breaking. We some of the spears came out as well. Uh, let's go with Oof's ability to inspire fear in the enemy. These shields level up, so we're going to specialization and we're going to make them defensive. Because I want my strong line of shield to stay strong. There we have it, there's a barracks here. An enemy barracks, there's a village here. Capture small fishing village, I think this is a small fishing village. Yeah, it's shown by the sign and also capture the village on the hill okay well that's what we're going for then people can i bring another spear uh we've got quite a few troops i don't think an extra unit of spear necessarily is going to do us good but sure let's let's actually bring one man. let's throw our shields in there And then we can go around him. Uh, actually, what we should have done is kept the spears feet so we could go marching towards them. I'm gonna go with the shield now and then we're gonna bring the spears as well, but they have killed a few of ours. Um, we're losing some food, so we need to capture a village that provides us with food pretty soon. And we're taking out his barracks so he doesn't recruit any more troops in the process. We've been given another spear unit, let's bring them all together. Okay, so they have a patrol of spearmen here. Listen up, spear! Mm, they're moving out. So let's just make sure this building is burned out. They're charging their spears. Outflank and outnumbered. Nice. Let's put them all into a quick healing camp. It's interesting to use that ability, like it doesn't feel overpowered at all, I mean, it, you take some risk, like I believe that at this point in the mission, things are not as dynamic as they are going to be, but it, it makes you think about taking care of your troops. So we've charged them there. Move, let's forward engagement here. Move, you go into the So we need to capture the village. We're capturing by setting fire to the main building. Okay, so our heroes specialized. I'm gonna go offensive on you. I'm gonna go defensive on Godric, being our shield bearer. Now we're just setting it on fire. Capturing in this game is quite quickly. I don't know if there's a way to reinforce them, but I found that at least in this mission it happens very fast. 
Uh, let's work on replenishing our troops. Nice. Let's also heal you up. And then you recruit people. They cost resources. You, it costs resources to send them to the big food farm, which is here. There's a sign over it. And there's a small food farm, which is this kind of meal. Actually, I believe, looking at the icons, I guess this is the small one and this warriors. is the big one. Ready to fight. Quickly. Yeah. So now we're going to be producing food. Let's also use this opportunity to go uphill. The shields are there. Let's put the spears like, in this position. The other guys were there. And now I'm going to bring the rest of the spears in the flank. And now they're out number two. Which means that we're getting a bunch of extra bonuses. And one of our troops leveled up. The spears level up. Fancy once again. Uh, here is the one of the wood buildings. Do we collect these? Oh yes, yes we do. Hey, that's great. So in small bits we are learning more and more about the game. Okay, so it's time to defend the village. In order to defend the village, we call the alarm and we bring the villages in. And that way they do not get killed. So yeah, interesting, there was a patrol or something coming. Oh, they can come through here. Interesting. Now everything's fine, they can go out again. Let's heal them up. I don't know why I went all around when I could have gone through here. But there you have it. I guess we can now head on out through here. Shields in front, please. If we put them in defensive stance, they will go slower. But that's why I do not want to do that. Let's go over there to those units. An offensive formation on this side, they're trying to outflank us, but we're going to engage them before they do. Well, they're doing quite a bit on us, quite a bit of a number. We also have the ability to raise our shields, which protects us against the ranged troops. Let's push shields over there. I don't see any other units, so I'll use the spears to set fire to this building. There we have it, and we have some food here. Uh, we are starting to go on a positive in the economy. Let's make these beautiful peasants work for us. So recruit big foot bar, lumber meal, and big foot bar. Yeah, sure. Let's go in that order. We use replenishment. Heal up the shield bearers. Now heal up the spears as well. There is one unit who that leveled up, another spear unit. So I'm going to go once again for offensive. And there we have it. So mm, this is how economy works in this game. Let's get there, Having different the types double. of control points, and giving us different types of food, uh, food, wood, and iron. I think. Yep, iron. Sure, I'm ready. Uh, let's actually go back into oh, these camps. This way. Uh, good, good. We have resources. Only thing left. 
better equipment. We need to capture the iron mine and craft ourselves better armors. Only then we can assault the outpost. I'll send one squad with you. So yeah, now we're going for iron. We've gained another shield. Making British type of shield unit. There's some archers here. I could be the last time I played through this, like when I was trying to mm, learn a little bit the ropes of the game. Uh, when I saw these archers, I'm like, this is like old school knowledge, right? If there's something like this out in the wilderness, approach it, because they might join you. So it's very curious. Uh, there's some guy. Uh, man, I don't remember his name now. Maybe I'll remember it and put it down in comments or something like that. But there is there a guy. Come with us. We need your help. Have an arrow ready. Affirmative. Who actually tested this out? Like, how do we know that up is up? As gamers, up is up, left is left. Uh, you know, going, scrolling at the end of the screen. Uh, we're okay. We understand that here is where the map ends and all that knowledge. It's something that we've gained with experience. And he asked his girlfriend, I believe, to to check out some games. Let's recruit another spirit because it seems like we have an, a slot here. Uh, so she, so he asked his girlfriend to to check out a bunch of games, and uh, he discovered some pretty interesting things like um, why she didn't get the limits, right, the limits of the map, or why you have to do certain things in certain ways because you know we are used to that's how these mechanics of these games work but why is that right so it's like we we played a few games and decided that somehow that is normal okay, let's move away from them Let's advance on these spears. And now we bring in the rest of the spears. Doing nice, another level 2 on these spears. Go for offensive. These shields are now at level 3. They, the more level up these troops are, you can see the maintenance of them going up as well. In the bottom of the corner, bottom right, right here. Okay, uh, let's continue building this trap. Now what I'll do, I'll snipe some troops trying to bring them in. Okay, so spears are there. Actually, let's put the spears in front of the archers because they will probably aggro on them. So now we're drawing them to us. A few of them will die there. I think they keep recruiting troops. That's a really nice flank, flank attack, flank charge. That was very effective for us. Let's go ahead and attack this unit. And with the rest of them we're gonna march forward. We're gonna engage those troops. There are six more kills on this trap. Up 
nice let's give up this ability with covering you so yeah it's pretty it was a pretty interesting test if you'd like right to to realize that it it's really a skill everything that we've learned over the years in the gaming world and with everything else going on maybe it's it's why we understand like esports right and some other people don't because they think that, that playing certain games is actually really easy but it's very difficult actually in reality like I, I am a bit of a gamer but I'm not the type that would do well in MMORPGs or games like Fortnite that type of arena battle it's really not the types of game that I enjoy playing first of all but I don't think I would do that well I don't know if my reflexes are up to that level and probably the main reason why this channel is not about those types of games Okay, so we're setting fire to these barracks, we're just sitting around to see if there's any other units bumping again. No, there ain't, so... Now let's move into the other camp. Once again, shields in front, the rest of them behind, we're gonna move our archers close. I don't think there's anybody here, El, right? Oh no. So let's set fire to the to the building. Let's capture it. Let's go there. Use some of the troops to collect the iron in the area. Hey, maybe if anybody knows what I was talking about with uh, the guy who made that troops. particular then we'll take these bastards down. A video test. Just leave it down in the comments below, I, I'd much appreciate it. Okay. Uh, how do we want to make these armors? I'm gonna make our shield guys being a frontline unit. I'm going to give them first of all this heavy armor. We need to upgrade free squads. Okay, so you are the first team. Let's see, do they change? Oh, yeah, they do. That's nice. I love when you have games that you can actually see the upgrades. Let's see, the, this is... I'll upgrade the level up spears first. Now, give them hell. So we're getting ready to move on. What happened with this guy? This <laughs> I've never seen this before. It didn't happen in my last trade group. Maybe this he got way. pushed in the charge or something. But apparently he's stuck. Let's see, retreat. Coming over. Yep, retreat worked. So for a little while he's not we're not being we're not able to move him. But they don't run back to the base. You have to be careful about that. If you're used to company of heroes, it's not the same game. Remember this. So let's bring our troops here. One of the cool things is that you don't have to be near a base to actually upgrade the armor, so you can do it on the fly.
there's mines, there's blacksmiths. It's a pretty game. All in all, I, I do enjoy the visuals of this particular game. I, jo I enjoy the action. Everything seems pretty logical. Royal armor. Ooh. No, I don't think I want to upgrade another shield unit. I think next time I'm going to upgrade some of, my, some of our spears. Let's move our troops up. And there you have. And we are going to keep these troops back. Push our shields forward. If you take a look at the the shield surrounding our particular unit, it shows you how upgraded they are. Right? Gold is there fully upgraded, the shields mean medium armor and these ones mean no armor. So it might be very useful for you to play to to plan out who you put in front, who you put behind, who you target from the enemy and so on and so forth. This ravine looks suspicious. Use defensive formations to find and destroy any traps. So, defensive formation. Our let's also bring our archers up because they have these old fire units will not fire, but does detect and avoid traps. So, we're gonna use that. And as you can see, we've spotted different traps. Places like these places on the map uh, could could be used by us and also by the enemy so. uh, we we have to be pretty careful in the future or think about it right be, be sneaky let's move some of these troops up I, I gained an achievement called It's a Trap. Yeah, I think that's everything. Let's see, let's push shields forward. We're gonna try to stop them here, I'm gonna push them there. Now let's bring in our spears. Our warriors are taking quite a bit of damage. What I'll do here is go in the back for them. I'm gonna break their morale. I'm gonna use the archers. They have a bunch of axes here, and they're bringing in more. Uh, let's see abilities, abilities. Do we want them to go crazy? Archers, you target the ones in the back, please. Go for accuracy. Specialization offensive at this point. Through accuracy or piercing accuracy, I think is what I want. Covering view, but uh, these battles, like this, could have done a whole lot better if we just took some troops and went all around. In this game you definitely don't want to do what I am doing right now. Once you're engaged with a, a troop, unless you retreat, you cannot get away. So what you want to do is play to the best of your abilities and plan out your, your tactics. It, it might feel like it takes a whole lot of time to, to be careful, but trust me when I say it does not. Like, take a look at this battle of you. We spent, what, about a minute? Maybe a bit more just going around this particular area, right? And fighting them. So, we needed, what, 10 seconds? 15, 20 seconds, maybe? 15 seconds or 20 seconds for a flank? 
Uh, that is more than than you need and it's going to make you a whole lot more effective. So yeah, just think about that in the future. Uh, let's heal these troops up. Let's give them some armor as well. Our spirit did, didn't suffer enough, but they did have some of those very heavy troops. Uh, the, the axe troops. And so we took a lot of damage from them on our shields. So we didn't get a whole lot of chances to play this type of Vikings when we played at East Anglia in East Anglia and the fronts of Britannia. But here you go, here is the game to replace that. We are grateful. Now it's time to part our ways. Best of luck. And let's hope to meet again. This for another. Well that's about it. I will put a cut here in this episode, I will continue to record, so I'll put the cut here and return in the next one. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you all a wonderful day.